Now, the prosecution of suspects in Turkey's failed coup continues more than a year after that attempt. Trials for more than 140 soldiers are set to begin in Istanbul. The soldiers are accused of killing 34 people on the night of July 15th and trying to seize control of strategic locations across Turkey's major cities. Nearly 250 people, mostly civilians, were killed in that coup attempt, which Turkey blames on the Fethullah Gülen terrorist organization. Well, TRT World's editor-at-large, Ahmed al Burai joins us now live from Silivri, where that trial is taking place. Hi, Ahmed. Uh, just tell us first what we're expecting, actually, from the court proceedings today. Well, Andrea, we are here in front of Silivri a Courthouse in Istanbul, where the 143 soldiers are being prosecuted for the killing of almost 32 Turkish civilians and two policemen on the bridge over the night of the coup attempt on the 15th of July 2016. Now, what we're expecting is an interim uh, judgment today. The, uh, the hearing will continue. The prosecution process will continue for almost uh, four days. For, this is the first day where the prosecutors are going to offer uh, an indictment of more than 1,000 pages of accusation for these uh, soldiers. Uh, this is going to be offered to the judges today, then the prosecutors uh, will ask for a life sentence imprisonment. As we've heard, the, uh, li the death sentence is not a valid option uh, according to the Turkish law and constitution at the moment. We, in the coming few days, these suspects are going to defend themselves in front of the court, and by the end of these hearings, they're going to have the interim uh, decision by the judges in the court behind me. And Ahmed, have you managed to speak to the families of the suspects? What, what are they telling you? Andrea, there is a, a, a sentiment of anger and fury uh, among these uh, families, the, the victims' family. They're asking for death penalty. They're amassing here, and they're uh, active on social media, Twitter and Facebook, asking the people to come here to support them and sympathize with the, uh, their beloved uh, murdered uh, victims over that night. Now, the, the families are asking for the death penalty, but as I've told you, the death penalty, according to the Turkish law and constitution, is not a valid option uh, now, but uh, in the future, they're hoping that they're going to practice more pressure on the parliament and the government to reinstate uh, the, uh, the death penalty. So far, there is a sentiment of uh, irritation and anger. They want these people who killed and who they accuse of being a traitor of their nation and government to be sentenced with the harsh a kind of a imprisonment. Okay, Ahmed al Burai, we will leave it there for now. Thank you so much for joining us outside of Silivri there in uh, Istanbul.